Okay, dear students, let us see how to do this question now. When 1800 joule of energy is supplied to a mass M of liquid in a container, the temperature of liquid and the container changes by 10 K. When the mass of liquid is doubled, 3000 joule of energy is required to change the temperature. By the same difference that is 10 K, what is the specific heat capacity of the liquid? Anyways, we have to now uh, create the equations here. So let us say we are now considering the case number one, Q is the heat given and uh, what is the heat given? 1800 Joule. So 1800 Joule energy, it is utilized by two substances, like one is liquid, another is the container. So the liquid is of mass M, so it will be M, C and the delta T will be taken as 10 plus M is the mass of container and let us say C dash is the heat capacity, specific heat capacity for uh, the, uh, the container and the temperature for that has also increased by 10 Kelvin. So delta T is 10. Now we go for case number two. Now 3000 Joule of energy is given. M is the mass and so sorry, 2M is the mass now because the mass is increased to M and specific heat will remain the same. The temperature still changes by 10 and the container mass does not change. The specific heat capacity for the container also doesn't change and the delta T is now even constant, even that is not changing. So these are the two equations now and from this I need to find C here, the value of uh, the specific heat capacity for the liquid. But this is the irritant here. So how can we get rid of this? We can subtract these two. Like this will be the first equation. This can be taken as two. So I will say that uh, subtracting two minus one, subtracting one out of two. So we just subtracting the left hand side from left hand side, right hand side from right hand side. I'm not rewriting things. Okay. So our left hand side will be 3000 minus 1800 is equal to this minus this. So it is twice of this simply. So it will come out to be M into C into 10 and these two will get cancelled. So it will be zero because they are the same. So this minus this is zero that will cancel. So this is coming out to be, uh, I think 1200 is equal to M into C into 10. So C is coming out to be 120 divided by M. 120 divided by M, so our answer should be P. And this is how we do it. Let us uh, verify our answer from mark scheme also. And there it is. Yes, according to the mark scheme, the answer is B. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel to find all the solutions to various questions. All the best. Bye.